Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In this short video, we're just taking a further look at the brand new Garmin GPS Map 66S that we've just got our hands on. And we're just having an extra look at some of the new features that we found and an overall feel of the menus on the unit. So I've got the 66S here in the middle here. And the first thing I've noticed is the button layout is very similar to the older 62, 64 that we've got alongside it. So that's nice if you are moving up from an older unit, you are going to see some familiarity with the buttons. So of course I'm on the map page here, we've got the standard sort of plus and minus to zoom in and out. The buttons have a much softer, nicer feel than the older buttons on the older unit, so they're a lot more responsive, I'm finding. Um, and actually the buttons are backlit, so in an evening when it's dark, when you touch any of the buttons, you do get a backlight shining through them. So very similar similar layout. We've got the nice find button because you want to find something you've saved in the unit, whether it be a route, a geocache, etc. So a quick button to come back out. So again, very similar layout. You've got the nice page button that lets us go through the shortcut menus. We can go to the main menu. And again, the main menu, there's lots of new apps in here and menus because there's some new features, but very similar to the 64S, so you will be see some familiarity. So I'm just going to press the quit button there, which I can also use to scroll between the different menus. One thing I really like with this new unit, uh, which is based, built into the sort of buttons and the way we set it up for you, is your track recording. On the older 64S62, it was always recording a track and you always had to remember to reset the trip computer before you went on a walk. What we like on this unit, the way we set it up, it's not always recording, but when you're on the map page or the compass page, you can press a button, it gives you the option to start recording, nice and simple. And then any time you want to pause the recording, you can again just press one button, you get the option to stop and you can either save it, delete it. What I can do now, if I was stopped for a break, I could come out of that menu, be looking at the map, looking at the compass or trip computer screen, and then any time I'm ready to start walking again, it's nice and simple, one button press and I can just go resume and start the track recording again. So I really like that sort of new feature that we can do now built into the buttons and the menus. And I'm just going back to the map page there. So again, a lot of similar setup to the older unit, but some nice new features as well. The power buttons now on the top of the unit instead of on the side. And actually what we like on the power button, one touch of the power button, we have the option to adjust backlight, but we've also got this option here of lock keys, and then I can lock the buttons to stop any accidental presses, and then it's nice and easy with a power button. I can just press that again, and then it's unlocked now, you know, so we like that feature as well. The other thing we've been using this unit for that you could do on the older 64S, you could pair it with a smartphone, so if anyone was sending you a message you would see the message on the screen and you could also use the Garmin Connect app. But with the new unit, pairing it with a phone, it could be pairing it with a hotspot uh, Wi-Fi on your phone or you could just be linking it to the Wi-Fi in your house or in a building that you're staying in. We now have an option when it's paired in that way to do bird's eye satellite imagery downloads for free. There's no charge for this. So I'll just give you a quick example of this. We haven't got the server quite up and running yet because we haven't launched the product quite yet, but I'll show you that feature and what will be coming on the unit. So I'm just going to go into the main menu. I've got this one at the minute paired with our Wi-Fi. So what I've basically done in the setup and the Wi-Fi, I've got it connected to the Wi-Fi network in the building here. If I had a hotspot on my phone, I could pair it with a hotspot on my phone. With it paired to the Wi-Fi, we now have this new icon called Bird's Eye Direct on the unit. And when we go into there, I can select Download Imagery. I can give the imagery a name and tell it what level of detail I want to the quality of the imagery and also what radius of the based on the area of where I am now which is what it set it and then we'll download some satellite imagery to the unit using Wi-Fi so we really like that. The other thing we're using the pairing with the phone for and the Wi-Fi is live geocaching. This is something we have currently on the Oregon 700 750 unit. So if you pair it with your phone in the Connect app, and then you've got it either paired with your Wi-Fi on your phone or just Wi-Fi in a building, you can go onto the geocaching screen. And what you can actually do on the geocaching screen that we really like, if you're into geocaching, you can basically move the map somewhere. It could be where you are or move it a little bit further ahead. 
and then using the Wi-Fi you can ask it to download geocaches and then automatically on the screen of the unit some new geocaches will appear centered on the area that you've moved the map to so I really like that function as well downloading the live geocaching so I've actually got some new geocaches just appeared at the top of the screen there so it'll download them based on using the Wi-Fi so with live information so that's a nice new feature if you're into geocaching there's also going to be an app on the unit called the Wikiloc app which hasn't come on our early release model here and that'll allow you to search for routes shared by other people uh, customers on the Wikiloc app and put them straight into the unit and the final thing I'm going to look at which is a sightless point of view I really like if I go into the main menu again so I'm just going to come out of here and I was actually on the main menu already so I'm in the main menu now in the main menu um, we can actually change the profiles in the unit a bit like the Oregon 700 series to say your cycling etc there's various profiles if I go on to the tour cycle profile and this is set up for road cycling to route you around the roads what I can actually do when I press the find button if I haven't got a route in the unit I can select round trip routing put in a distance so I can change the distance to what I want to do tell it from my current location so current location and what the unit will do is it'll calculate two or three routes for me based on the dis distance I've put in and if I'm linked to the Wi-Fi and then I can select those sorry you don't need to be linked to the Wi-Fi that was incorrect to me it uses the data built into the Ordnance Survey map card that you've got on your unit and then it will search for routes and you can pick a route that you want to do that's really for the road cycling so that's a nice new feature as well so i hope you like the look of this new unit and you're looking forward to if you've already ordered one getting your hands on it if you haven't already done so on the www.gpstraining.co.uk our website you can go to the news page and under the news page we've got gps map 66s launch and you can sign up on our vip area where we'll keep you up to date with the launch of the new unit and any new videos that we add and thanks for watching this video